Well guys, say hello to the last video that I'm ever gonna be filming on YouTube in this room. Ha! Gotcha. As you guys know, this has been the most consistent background to my YouTube channel for the past year or so. I'm saying bye to the office. I'm almost settled in my new place. So yes, happy times ahead, but sad that this is the last video on my YouTube channel ever. Not really, just in this room. So I'm pretty excited for this video because I'm do doing a little bit of a like a back to basics type of videos. The type of videos that I used to put out on my channel about hair quite a while ago. This is going to the absolute fundamental uh, telling you guys all about hair straighteners, why you might want to use one, and exactly how you use, you should use them. Because even though it kind of seems like common sense, there's a couple steps that you really don't want to skip if you want the best for your hairstyle after using a hair straightener. Well, from my experience, a hair straightener unlocks the maximum potential for the amount of control that you can have over your hairstyle. You might be able to make your hairstyle look good without a hair straightener, but with the hair straightener, you can sometimes make it look great. It's simply a tool that I would use if I wanna make sure that my hairstyle is gonna last and look great all day long uh, and not be worried at all about how it looks. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the steps, the ultimate guide to using a hair straightener. <sighs> straightener. <sighs> straightener. Okay, so we are gonna be starting from scratch. I have damp, clean hair, just washed. Nothing's in my hair except for some water. The very first step, and this is extremely crucial, very important, is the use of heat protectant. Now you wanna use heat protection on your hair before the blow dry, not before the hair straightening. Hair straighteners are way, way hotter than the heat from a blow dryer, and it's also directly on your hair follicles. So heat protection is a must. Um, so you can either use uh, heat protection spray like this. It's a very cheap, effective option. All it is, is a heat protector. It doesn't do anything else. Of course, you guys already know, I will be using Original by Bloomon because it is a uh, pre-styling and post-styling wax, but it also has uh, heat protection built into the formula. Now when it comes to the blow dry, don't rush the process. And the main reason for this is because you want your blow dryer to do most of the work, or at least as much work as it can do. If your hair is going in the right direction because of the blow dryer, that means that you can use the hair straighteners less. And the less you use the hair straighteners, the better it is for your hair. And this is the result from just the blow dryer, which brings me to my next point. Make sure that your hair is 100% dry. You don't want any moisture, you don't want any uh, wetness left in your hair when you're finished blow drying. Why? Well, because when a hair straightener touches damp hair, it immediately begins to fry that hair follicle uh, and it just, it just kills it straight away. Using a hair straightener on even slightly moist hair, it's a very big no-no. Make sure your hair is completely dry before proceeding. So I've got my mini hair straighteners, definitely a preference of mine over regular, like long hair, hair straighteners. I find that I can be more precise and have maximum control with this size and my hair length. If you want to check them out, they are linked down below. Many hair straighteners are. Not the specific one, because I can't find it online. These are currently not plugged in, so I can demonstrate without any damage, so don't worry, because I just want to show you the technique, because there's two main ways that guys straighten their hair. I prefer one over the other, and I'll tell you that in a second. The first one, probably the most common, is this. You take your brush, you extend your hair a little bit, you go in sideways, pinch, and then pull up like this. All right, seems pretty straightforward. Again, these straighteners are not on right now. So you do that, you do that for the fringe, and then you get into the middle bit, you repeat the process through the middle, you get to the back, pinch, pull up, et cetera, et cetera, until your hair has been straightened. One way to do it, but there's a method that I prefer and I find a little bit more simple. And simply, instead of going in sideways, you go in long ways. Actually, I'll uh, go ahead and plug these in and show you what I mean. A few moments later. I have to stand a little bit further back because my cable doesn't reach up there, but it's fine, you can see. So my favorite way to straighten hair is like this. I'll still pull up with a brush like this, but this time, go in the long ways, grab, and pull up like that. Go in, grab, pull up. You can do it slowly, just not too slow. Get in, grab, pull up. 
This straightens much more hair than the previous method that I showed you and what this allows you to do is use this hair straightener for a, a, a shorter amount of time in your hair. Once again, shorter amount of time in your hair means better for your hair. As you can see, when I put it in, it's grabbing the front section, it's grabbing the middle section, and it's grabbing towards the back. Now it doesn't reach all the way back, so you can get a, a little bit further back in there, which is just as simple. You're just going a little bit further back. Now, thanks to the hair straightener, my hair has become 100% under my control. Now, I've noticed with hair straighteners, you might experience a little added frizz. These are just some, some bits that got straightened and they're sticking out a little. That's fine, it'll go away once you add your pre-styling product. In this case, for me, I'm gonna go through with that trusty, rusty Cavalier clay. And yes, I don't have the new packaging yet, even though some people do. I haven't gotten it yet because I'm not special. And as you can see, that finishing product has just really tied the whole hairstyle together and it shows the benefit of the straightener. And it's as simple as that. It seems like a fairly straightforward process, but like I said, um, you know, there's some fundamental steps that I think are important for you to, to uh, achieve the best that you can achieve with your hair straightener. Again, Mini hair straighteners, those are the way to go if you're a, a, a man with, you know, average male size or male length hair. If you want to check out a mini straighteners that I have in the description down below, um, you can see it there. And that pretty much wraps up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, found it useful. If you did, click that thumbs up button. I like it. I like it when you do that. Social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, that kind of stuff. Snapchat is in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see everybody next time.